Hello guys, Sir Grindalot here. If you've been following long enough, you probably know that Ganyu is my favorite character in Genshin Impact, probably together with Kazuha. She was my very first 5 star character when I started playing Genshin Impact, and my story with her has been very interesting. Because when I started playing Genshin Impact, it was my first gacha game, and it's currently the only one that I play, and I didn't know how Banner worked. Um, I kept reading people, oh, she's she's great, she's a really good character, really, really good, you should really pull for her, but I had no idea what it meant. And so I just used all the wishes that I had during my first uh, few weeks of gaming, uh, which were a lot, because you unlock a lot of stuff when you're new to the game. And I kept getting a copy of Ganyu basically every 30 wishes or so. And it, in almost no time I got her to Constellation 2. I did not even know what the 50-50 meant, uh, PT timer, I didn't know anything about it. Eventually after I kept playing and before the end of her banner, I, I pulled on her banner again because I thought let's try to pick up uh, uh, another constellation, they look pretty good. And I got Chi Chi. And that's when I found out about the banner <laughs> PT losing the 50-50 and all this sort of problem. But let's move on to the main topic of this video. The main topic of this video is a weapon of comparison, because in months and months of playing Genshin Impact I have never gotten any 5 star bow. On the other hand, I got 5 bow prototypes, which allowed me to craft a 5.5 prototype crescent, and then over the course of a month I also managed to purchase a 5.5 Black Cliff Warbow from the store. On the internet there are many many people asking which of the two bows is better for Ganyu, because this one, the prototype crescent, is free to play but it requires luck, you need to find the billets, and they're not easy to get. This one, you can buy it basically every two months from the store, using currency that eventually if you play in Genshin Impact long enough uh, you tend to accumulate. The problem is that each Black Cliff Warbow costs 24 Star Glitter, Stardust, I don't remember the name. Meaning that if you want to bring it to Refinement 5, that's 120, let's call it Stardust, I don't remember the name. Uh, it's almost three characters. So would you prefer three, four star characters of your choice from the store or a Refinement 5 uh, Black Cliff Warbow? Uh, I believe the Warbow is the only Black Cliff weapon I ever purchased from the store. Yeah, I didn't get any other. And I actually got the Warbow before the prototype. Um, my Refinement 5 prototype uh, happened completely randomly in a week. Uh, the bosses reset and I got uh, three billets in the span of a week. And <laughs> so uh, I was pretty happy to craft the prototype crescent. But I had to do a lot of testing to find out which one I like more. And there are some things to be said about both bows. Now, before I show you some numbers, because a lot of people only care about numbers, but some, peop some people care about something else, the look. Now, if you notice Ganyu, uh, her color scheme, the most striking part is definitely white and blue, uh, coming from the hair and the dress. But she actually, she actually has a lot of black and red details. And this is the prototype crescent. It kind of sucks on her, doesn't it? It does not match her color scheme at all. Let's see what happens if you switch the weapon to the Warble. Yeah, this is basically a perfect match for her. Uh, it matches the details uh, on her dress, they match the color of her horn. If, if you care about a character looking good, there is nothing better than the Warble, the Blackleaf Warble for her. Now, a lot of people, of course, don't care too much about the look of characters. Um, I'm probably in between <laughs> in Genshin Impact. Uh, many people prefer to know which one is actually better in terms of gameplay. Uh, before I show you the numbers, my Ganyu's artifacts are absolutely terrible. Uh, the reason is that I have never gotten an attack sense from the Blizzard Strayer domain with decent substats, and I've never dropped a single crit damage hat, not even one. 
On the other hand, I have a lot of crit rate because my best hat is this one. A crit rate hat with 20% crit damage and some energy recharge, blah blah blah. So very often, if you watch Ganyu's videos uh, uh, on, on YouTube, people will be doing a lot more damage than me. That's because of the artifacts, unfortunately. Talents, I'm at 9 for the uh, main attack. So let's go to test the weapons. And the tricky thing about testing these two weapons is that they work in completely different scenarios. The first test is for the prototype Crescent and it's on a Ruin Guard. A Ruin Guard has a weak spot, which means you can activate very easily the passive from the prototype Crescent. Now, the standard damage of a prototype Crescent for Ganyu on a crit is 7206 for the main arrow and 12,251 for the bloom. After the buff, it goes to 9,985 for the arrow and 16,974 for the bloom. <laughs> now let's go with the Warcliffe Warbob and Blackleaf Warbob. And unfortunately, there is no way to get the passive bonus from the, from the bow against a single enemy. So the damage that you see now is the same that the Warbo will deal all the time on a Ruin Guard, which is 6,705 uh, for the Arrow and 11,398 for the Bloom. And unfortunately, that's it. So for my Ganyu, on a single target with a weak spot, without any passive, the Prototype Crescent deals an extra 500 damage on the Arrow add an extra 900 damage on the Bloom. But once the passive uh, of the Prototype Crescent activates, uh, hitting the weak spot of a Ruin Guard, the difference becomes huge. We are getting basically close to a 50% bonus damage for the Prototype Crescent, because now uh, the extra damage is 3300 on the regular arrow and almost 6000 for the Bloom so there is really no comparison uh, between the two bows uh, if you're hitting a single target with a weak spot. Now, of course, that's the ideal situation for the Prototype Crescent. But what happens if you're hitting multiple targets that don't really have a weak spot? Okay. The best location to test uh, the Blackleaf Warbow in its full potential uh, is this one, the Cecilia Garden. But really, any domain where you can hit multiple enemies will make the Blackleaf Warbow shine. Here we are hitting much, much harder as soon as the free stacks for the Warbow activate. As you can see, we are at 8,977 8, for the Arrow and 17,381 for the Bloom. That's with free stacks. Now let's do the same test with the Prototype Crescent and after the talent activates, there you go, we are at 7306 for the arrow and 12420 for the bloom. This will not change because uh, hitting slimes, the prototype crescent has no way to activate its passive ability. So the damage will be consistent uh, for the whole fight, meaning that the Blackleaf Warbow performs much, much better. Now we reach the part of the video that I hate. Because when people uh, go online looking for advice, they, they like to hear, oh, this thing is better, that thing is better. But when it comes to the Blackleaf Warble and the Prototype Crescent, the scenarios in which they perform better are so different from each other that it's impossible to clearly say which one is better and which one is worse. The Prototype Crescent is exceptional for single targets or multiple targets with weak spots that are easy to hit. The Blackleaf Warbow is extremely easy to use, it gives you more crit damage, uh, but you cannot always have the passive stacks up. On the other hand, when you are fighting in situation where you can pick up those free passive stacks quickly, uh, then the performance is amazing and extremely easy to use. The only two scenarios in which I would 100% recommend the Blackleaf Warbow to you are the following. One is if you are a mobile player, so you don't have to 
rely on hitting weak spots all the time. Uh, doing it every 10 seconds on mobile is a pain. I often play on mobile because my main uh, gaming period is usually the time that I spend on my commute to work. But no, I, I would not uh, enjoy playing annual all the time if I had to rely on a hit uh, on a weak spot every 10 seconds on mobile. It sounds like a nightmare. Blackleaf Warbo all the way. Also, if you're using Ganyu as a burst support, which is doable, not ideal, but doable, then uh, using the prototype Crescent is less than ideal. Because you don't want to let Ganyu spend too much time on the field trying to get that bonus every 10 seconds. You want to swap in, swap out, dump all your elemental bursts with all your characters. And so the Blackleaf Warbo is just a decent stat stick. Uh, if you don't have a 5-star weapon. So that's it for this comparison between RF5 and 5 uh, Prototype Crescent and Blackleaf Warbo. I hope you found this comparison useful and I hope that it will help you make the correct decision when it comes to having a look at Paimon's shop uh, each, each other month. This is Sir Grandelot checking out and I wish you good happy grinding and I'll see you guys next time. Bye, take care.